Hi, Gemini, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from June 19th to the 25th, but remember, it could also be timeless, meaning whenever you get to see it will be the right time for you. Uh, and also, anyone that has Gemini in their chart, this is your reading. So I will be adding more videos along the uh, way. I am going to be doing weeklies like usual. I'll do the all signs, and I'm also going to bring in the monthlies. Okay, so stay tuned for more videos. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at your recent past. We're going to look at your immediate, uh, your current energy, and then we're going to look at the immediate future. And then after that, I will clarify your cards and see what the universe has to say. So let's get started. Hello, Gems. How are you all doing? So Gems, when you come into, Gems are in the house. Yes. Okay, so when you come into the house here, okay, make sure you put your emojis and what you want to achieve, what do you want. Please let me know where you're from. I really would like to know where you're all from and how long you've been on my channel as well. Okay. Let's see what's going on here for you, Gems. This card wanted to come out. The Eight of Wands reversed. There could be some type of uh, something slowed down or something is not in alignment right now or something like uh, some type of communication that's not coming through. Okay, let's see what's going on with gems. In the recent past, you got the Wheel of Fortune reversed. You got the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands reversed. In the current energy, you have the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Wands reversed, the Two of Cups. In the immediate future, you have Justice. Mm, I like this. The King of Cups reversed and the Page of Wands reversed. And in the overall, you've got the King of Pentacles. Patterns are being released from you at this time, okay? So it's very important to know that uh, patterns are being released. For those of you that don't know this, right? So if there's been toxic or people that uh, were not for your highest good or anything like that, uh, everything is being released, okay? Patterns, people, situations here. There's a, some type of freedom for some of you. There could be divorce on the table. It doesn't have to be. So in the overall, you got the King of Pentacles here, okay? So there is stability here, prosperity, vic vic like be feeling good, you know, victorious and a lot of success here, a good business person, very practical, but there is stability with the King of Pentacles. In the recent past here, um, there was something here that um, was not in divine timing. There was delays and some sort of happiness or some type of relationship or something here that had to take place. And there was a lot of unst instability here, okay? Uh, something was not stable. In the current energy here, even though you have a lot of dreams and goals at this time, okay, this, you know, there could be many things here that you do want, okay? There is a Two of Cups here, but um, I feel that there's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of frustration around at this time, okay? Someone here is, is feeling frustrated with maybe uh, love in their life or, you know, whoever this is that has to come in because I feel that there's confusion around that and this confusion is creating a lot of frustrations. In the immediate future here, you got the Justice, the King of Cups reversed and the Page of Wands reversed. Yeah, again, a lot of frustration. Someone not, is not able to give, but definitely something here karmically is coming into justice for you, okay? So we're going to clarify the cards and see what's going on. behind the world this card kept popping out every time so you are completing a cycle here and it's been a long time cycle of lessons that you had to go through so you are completing and you're going to the next level okay so let's see what's going on here with the king of pentacles in the overall got the three of cups the six of swords 
the nine of wands, the four of pentacles. In this situation, whatever this is, if it's love work, you'll know. Okay, I don't know what the situation is, but I'm just telling you in the energies here. Okay, uh, there could be someone of the past here that you're dealing with 100%. Okay, it could be a friend, it could be people you work with, whoever this is. Um, I feel that you've been tested a lot along the way, okay, in the, in the overall energy. And you've been persevering and you have to choose your battles very wisely here. I feel there's also like someone here that's holding back like a block. I feel a block around the situation here or someone's blocking, someone's not communicating, or someone's holding back or some, someone here is having a hard time releasing something, okay? And this is someone that maybe for some of you have been talking to, okay? It could be short distance or making plans with long distance and energy. And, um, you know, and uh, you're at crossroads, okay? Let's look at the recent past. Let's look at the Wheel of Fortune reverse because there was delays here, okay, for something to come in faded for you. So let's look at the Wheel of Fortune reversed. You got the Sun, the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and Judgment. Again, another Judgment not to come thing. So this is about making a judgment or sometimes, or if it's about like some type of epiphany coming in here for you, okay? Because this judgment that whatever that's this judgment is, I, I feel for some of you, you felt that there was always some type of secrecy or someone not being honest, okay? In a situation here and someone was really holding, like really holding back, okay? In a situation that I feel for some of you, that you, whoever that you were making plans with here, okay? And so there's a judgment that has to come through because there could have been some type of sabotage in this. Uh, maybe you were thinking sabotage about it or something that was not in divine timing. It could have been around work, a situation around work for some of you, okay? But the sun was shining on this, okay? So yes, there was positive energy, but I also feel like, again, someone was not playing by the rules, okay? And there was conflict. Let's look at this Ten of Cups. Queen of Wands, the Moon, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, someone here, and the Lovers. You can come to your own reading. It could have been a, a, a bond, you know, or connection that you had here, a long distance connection. I, mean, I don't feel like it was, it, for some of you, not all of you, but it wasn't someone that was near to you, okay? This, this person did see you as like the Empress, you know, and uh, that they, they also saw here that there could have been happiness here around the situation. But I feel that I feel that there was a lot of changes with this uh, with this Ten of Cups and energy because something is not what it seemed. And all of you were working on yourself too, you know, in being uh, more confident. OK, but at the same time, you were you, I feel a lot of you were being pulled in two different directions here, even though you were trying to bring something into balance you were being pulled into different directions because it was a lot of fear energy around this ten of cups and this bringing you happiness and you have to make in the recent past you had to make decisions here okay yeah because something is not what it seems there was a lot of fear let's look at the four of wands reversed why is the four of wands reversed here the hermit the Chariot, Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, again. Someone was sitting on the, f the fence about something here. At the same time, if someone here was feeling left out, ghosted, always in the dark, you know, there was a feeling of abandonment. There was there was an energy of you're someone that was obsessed with you. I do feel that, or something, something toxic that you had. And I do feel that um, a lot of you felt that this person, maybe if it's a person, I don't know if it's a work situation or a person situation, whatever it is, felt that this with this situation in the recent past was like a wish fulfillment, but it didn't turn out that way. All you had to walk away from that, okay? And uh, you decided to take your power back and uh, move forward. You took action here. Um, and you took, uh, and, you re and you removed yourself completely from the situation. And with that, okay, whatever that stability here, you're going, you're focusing yourself on other things, material things maybe, or not material, but tangible things here, okay? 
Um, definitely you have to take time out to uh, meditate, uh, to uh, follow your own journey here. And some of you maybe haven't done this yet, but you will take your power back. You will <clears throat> take action. And there is a blessing in disguise that's coming in here for you after you make that decision. Let's look at the current energy. You have the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Nine of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Four of Cups. Yeah, there's a Seven of Cups. There's a lot of confusion here. Because at the same time, uh, the, you know, in the current energy, uh, you're, uh, this could be a separation or someone that you've been longing to be with. Or if it's a work situation or a family situation here, whatever this is. Um, karmically, something is coming into alignment for you. 100%. Okay. In the current energy and now. Okay. Um, this could be you or someone here that's working towards... Uh, going towards a certain goal but taking their time okay uh, but at the same time i feel that whatever it is that's coming in here for you and whatever these options are that you have here i do see that uh you're not wanting to hear about these situations you're bored about them or there could be rejection around something here okay there's definitely rejection here be i feel rejection there could be some type of rejection here all right could be stubborn also about the situation whatever it is that's keeping you confused and there's frustration let's look at this queen of wands reversed knight of swords the ace of cups the six of wands in the current energy if there's something that you need to release or someone or a, a specific situation here there is a new beginning for you it's you feel it it's there okay this is a passion for love for life whatever this is here it can be about chemistry fertility whatever it is your manifestations are right here but a lot of you are feeling frustrated at this time because things are not coming in divine timing or whatever that's your wish that's you want that wants to be granted here whatever this is here okay um there's frustration around this. But what Spirit is telling me is that there's going to be an unexpected message coming in. A Knight of Swords. And uh, it's about some of you have been waiting for this message to come in for a while. Your manifestations are right around the corner. And what's it going to bring you? Well, it's going to bring you the Six of Wands and the Ace of Cups. There's abundance here. There's love. There's celebration. There's victory. There's success. And it's a brand new start if you want to see it. Okay? Let's look at the Two of Cups in the current energy. Justice is coming in. You got it twice. Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups, Two of Swords. You're not sure about whoever this is. You're in the current energy. You've been nurturing yourself, which is amazing. Okay. Especially for, you know, for all of you that have, uh, are trying to heal, feeling the ab uh, abandonment or feeling left out or ghosted here. Uh, there's a, you're walking away from something that's been very toxic in your life, even though it's a wish fulfillment, okay? And it's going to take you a lot of strength to do that for some of you. Because karmically, something is coming into justice for you, but at, at the same time, you, there's still some type of confusion here. You're feeling confused, maybe in maybe just not confused but in your emotions here and uh what's important is that if you're overthinking something you need to follow your heart what does your heart tell you to do let's look at the near future let's look at justice nine of swords six of pentacles the queen of swords yeah you're thinking logically again You've been sitting on this for a while. There's a decision that has to be made in terms of business or money or or relationships, whatever this is. You've been worrying a lot. You know, you've been in your head a lot. You've been there's been a sleepless night, anxiety that took place, and you're really trying to bring into something into balance. And you're ready to take on here. You know, you're thinking logically here. As soon as you make that decision, whatever this decision, maybe this is not your reading, gems. You know, you could always look at uh, your rising and uh, other planets, whatever you have in, uh, you know, your rising, your moon. 
or you could catch me next time but there's a decision that has to be made so that new could come into your life let's look at this king of cups reversed someone here that is not emotionally available cannot communicate you got the ten of cups the seven of wands the empress death there could be an ending here I mean, someone here wants to bring you that happiness, right? This is something that you're not seeing right now. And there's been a lot of like energies around you and you overcame these energies. You overcame them uh, and you've been nurturing yourself. There's so many, uh, there's so much abundance here for you. Someone here is not emotionally available. Okay. They're not. <coughs> They're not able, sorry, to express themselves. They're not able to express themselves. There could be. You will hear the tr you will see the clarity in the situation with the king of cups reversed okay and uh again like i said it's gonna take you a lot of str because it, it's been a, it's been a difficult path there's been a lot of obstacles around this you have the courage and the strength okay uh but it's gonna take you a lot of yeah courage okay if there could be a, if there there has to be an ending if or when you get this clarity Okay, and then uh, because there will be a tower moment that's going to take place to show you this. Or there's a huge transformation that you will go through with this King of Cups. I just want to take an extra card for the King of Cups reversed. Why is the King of Cups reversed here? Just one more card. Four Cups. Yeah, someone, nine of cups reversed, queen of swords. Yeah, someone here is not able to communicate their feelings, period. And there could be a sense of rejection. With the death card, you got the world. So there could be a new beginning taking place here and an ending and a new beginning, okay? Let's look at, oops, let's look at the page of wands reversed. Again, a lot of frustration here, something not in divine timing. Page of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Two of Cups, the Emperor. Whatever this offer is, a lot of you have been stagnant. There's, there's been stagnancy with this situation period. Okay. And whatever this, uh, with these two of cups, whatever this is, an offer that's coming in here, it's it's really a small, it's like a page, okay? So it's a page coming in, okay? But the thing is that um, this person, if you're dealing with an emperor energy, this is someone that wants to take control, okay? They're like egoistic, and it's like their way or the highway in the situation here. Um, there's a lot of passion here, and something could turn out to long to long term but they're very cold and there's been a lot of conflict and maybe there's it, it was work that kept them away or something that kept them away here a hundred percent someone here was feeling stuck okay we have a card for the hangman and the page of wands reversed someone that's immature here star the king of cups the temperance and the world this is definitely someone from your past it could be a soulmate a lot of you are feeling nostalgic about this person maybe this person keeps coming in and out of your life okay but there's definitely the world is coming in here for you okay so there is completion going to the next level uh someone could be traveling to you you could be traveling to someone patience is needed you could keep this going and heal it but it's gonna take time it's not gonna be done very quickly here okay uh, someone here is trying to heal and with the star card this is something that's destined and faded it's a wish that's gonna be granted it's your destiny it's up to you though right because there's a lot of decisions to be made here let's see what the universe wants to tell you
What does the universe want to tell you? The gems. Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Swords. Well, it's very simple. Someone here is holding back. Maybe they're holding back. They have, they have patterns that need to be released, people's situations. Maybe it's a job or it's something like that. But something, someone here is holding back how they truly feel. Okay, they're coming in with an offer. And a lot of you are overthinking about it. Okay. <clears throat> Let go of your worry, whatever it is. Let go. What is meant to be is meant to be gems. Whatever it is, you're working towards something here. Or someone's coming to you very slowly or this is you. Whatever the, the case is, let go of the worry because the Ace of Cups is here. There is abundance. There is celebration. There is love. There is forgiveness. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.